The Wars of the Roses were a series of intense and bloody civil wars that took place in England between 1455 and 1487. This prolonged conflict was fought between two rival branches of the Royal House of Plantagenet, the Lancasters, symbolized by a red rose, and the Yorks, symbolized by a white rose. The wars were primarily a dynastic struggle for the English throne, deeply rooted in the political and social complexities of 15th century England. At the heart of the conflict was King Henry VI, a Lancastrian whose weak and mentally unstable rule led to widespread dissatisfaction and unrest among the nobility. His inability to assert strong leadership created a power vacuum that Richard, Duke of York, sought to fill. Richard believed his lineage gave him a more legitimate claim to the throne than Henry VI. The initial phase of the Wars of the Roses began in 1455 with the First Battle of St. Albans, where Richard of York managed to capture Henry VI. This victory marked the start of open hostilities between the two houses. In 1460, the Yorkist forces won a significant victory at the Battle of Northampton, capturing the king once more. However, the tide turned at the Battle of Wakefield later that year, where Richard of York was killed, passing his claim to his son, Edward. Edward of York emerged as a formidable leader and secured a decisive victory at the Battle of Toton in 1461, which led to his coronation as King Edward IV, effectively deposing Henry VI. Edward's reign initially brought a semblance of stability, but underlying tensions persisted. The second phase of the conflict was marked by internal strife within the Yorkist faction and a resurgence of Lancastrian support. In 1471, Edward IV faced significant challenges, including opposition from his former ally, Richard Neville, Earl of Warwick, known as the Kingmaker. Edward defeated Warwick at the Battle of Barnet and subsequently crushed a Lancastrian resurgence at the Battle of Tewkesbury, where Henry VI was killed solidifying Edward's hold on the throne. The final phase of the Wars of the Roses began with the unexpected death of Edward IV in 1483. His young son, Edward V, was briefly king before being deposed by his uncle, Richard, Duke of Gloucester, who declared himself King Richard III. Richard III's reign was short-lived, as he faced opposition from Henry Tudor, a Lancastrian claimant. In 1485, Henry Tudor defeated Richard III at the Battle of Bosworth Field, killing him and ending Yorkist rule. Henry Tudor ascended the throne as King Henry VII. Henry VII's victory marked the beginning of the Tudor dynasty, which brought about a new era of stability. To consolidate his power and unify the warring factions, Henry VII married Elizabeth of York, symbolically ending the feud between the houses of Lancaster and York. This union paved the way for a period of relative peace and the eventual flourishing of the Tudor era. The Wars of the Roses had a profound impact on the English nobility, leading to the fall of many noble houses and the rise of new ones. It also set the stage for the transformative Tudor monarchy, which would bring significant political, religious, and cultural changes to England. The dramatic events and key figures of this turbulent period were immortalized in literature particularly in Shakespeare's historical plays such as Henry VI and Richard III. In essence, the Wars of the Roses were a complex and multifaceted series of conflicts that reshaped the English monarchy and nobility, ultimately laying the groundwork for the Tudor dynasty and leaving a lasting legacy in English history.